If you tend to hold a lot of stress in your jaw with clenching or grinding, that type of thing, which I do, you are going to end up with a very tight front of the neck. And it might not feel painful in the front of your neck, but it's gonna give you things like jaw pain, headaches, back of the neck pain. So rubbing your back of your neck might not be very helpful if it's the structures in the front that are actually the source of the problem. And one really easy thing that I like to do for myself and for patients is grab a Corgis ball. We have them in the office. You can find them online. They're just an air filled ball. We use them all the time. And we're gonna start by placing it on the side of the neck and then rolling it across. So you're kind of letting it gather up the fascia and the tissue and then sliding it over, getting it nice and relaxed and mobile. And the side benefit of that, besides just decreasing the tension that builds up in through there from all of stressed out stuff and um, clenching, is that it's going to really tap into and mobilize the um, vagus nerve area because you've got those running down through the neck. And it also helps stimulate your lymph movement because it there's a ton of lymph structure in and through the neck and around the collarbone, and this will tap into both areas and get a nice movement and keep it from being stagnant. Because another reason why we get a lot of pain in the neck and that kind of thing is from inflammation. And if your lymph system is stagnant and not moving really well, then it's going to be a huge factor for um, increased inflammation. So we want to keep the lymph system happy. We want to keep the vagus nerve stimulated so that we can decrease our stress. And we want to release all that really tight fascia that gets tight through stress, clenching, all of those things. So we're going to take our ball, we're going to push it into the side of the neck and as hard or not hard as you want, I'm going to hold tension there. I'm going to twist it and then I'm gonna drag it along the front of the neck. So I'm tipping my head, I'm extending my head back and then dropping the chin down again. I'm twisting, I'm pulling it across and back around. And you can play around with how far you flex your head before when you come to the side, how far you extend over. It's just like a nice ringing out of your neck. And the ball is a little bit tacky, so it can kind of stick to that area. Now, if you have, um, it takes a little bit of effort to do that. And sometimes if you have a, you know, a lot of pain in the neck, it's not gonna be very comfortable to move it around that much. So sometimes lying down is a relaxing way to do it and can be a little easier. So I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. So you can just lie down and you're going to take the ball and do the same exact thing. So now my head's resting on the floor. I'm going to bring the ball right up to the angle of the jaw all along the side of the neck right under the ear. I'm going to twist, letting it gather, and I'm going to draw it across the neck to the other side, twist. can bring it down onto the front of the sternum a little bit and kind of just play around with where it feels the tightest at and it is a really nice easy way to work on the front of the neck without being too aggressive because there is a lot of sensitive structures in there a lot of important blood vessels that we don't want to necessarily be doing really intense trigger point work unless you know what the anatomical structures are. So this is super safe, easy way to work on loosening that up without irritating things. So you can give it a try seated, you can give it a try lying down, <clears throat> and you can also do a nice release of the front of the neck on the wall as well. This is the carotid release on the wall with the gorgeous ball. So you're just going to simply trap the ball between your neck and the wall. So you're going to lean into it. 
and you can move your head around nice and easy so that it's kind of moving the fascia around the jaw where we tend to clench around the front of the throat you can roll to the side so you get in through here and then you can roll across the throat to the other side again moving the head around nice and easy and you can vary how much pressure how much you're leaning onto it and it really works on opening up the front of the throat in through here <clears throat> it is also a way that i can't see if you can tell but i had thyroid surgery in july and i've done a lot of work on the scar here using my hands using tools to <clears throat> reduce any scar tissue, especially around what's remaining in my thyroid. I want it to function as well as possible. And I use this ball a lot and that kind of work to get that to be really mobile and not have any restrictions or adhesions around it. So that's another use for it as well.